Good morning to you. Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com here. Hurricane Outlook and discussion time in my office. No power. Uh, I have the nice LED flashlight over here providing some light. That sort of fan noise you hear, that's a power inverter. Big old battery pack over here to my left giving me some power to the laptop. And uh, so I better make this quick. Uh, there's a lot to talk about in a short amount of time. I'm going to focus uh, on the tropics as a whole real quick. This is what was Isaac, 20% chance in the longer term. Not seeing much of an indication in the global models that this will regenerate, but we will certainly keep an eye on it. Could spread some showers and storms and flooding rains to Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, and maybe western Cuba over the next few days as a tropical disturbance, basically. Florence downgraded in the technical term, uh, to a tropical depression, moving west at 8 miles per hour, so at least it's moving faster than we can walk. That's good news, but it's still going to dump epic amounts of rainfall, and the flood uh, of record for some areas is going to happen. Joyce is not an issue. Uh, Helene, however, uh, likely to affect uh, parts of the United Kingdom up here uh, as a post-tropical storm meaning that it was transitioned out of the typical tropical Atlantic warm core storm system, you know, like Florence was, to a more northern latitude, mid-latitude storm system. The bottom line is it could bring some rainfall, some gusty winds. I just, you know, not ignoring you folks over here. Uh, it won't be, hopefully, nearly as impactful as Ophelia was last year. Nevertheless, something to keep an eye on as it comes out of the subtropics, bringing a lot of energy with it. And, you know, heavy rain, rough seas, etc. Uh, we have a few days to keep an eye on this. All right, so real quick here, looking at the radar. Boy, I tell you what, it is hot. It's about 82 degrees inside the office here. Yeah, I am sweating big time. But I've got it good compared to some other folks that are losing their homes uh, uh, these are just observations I'm giving you. I'm not complaining. I'm just telling you what's up. Uh, the radar here, very heavy bands, continue to move onshore in eastern North Carolina. We had, uh, I think, a confirmed tornado touchdown just on the west side of Wilmington, or west of Wilmington, in eastern Brunswick County. We'll wait for the Weather Service to confirm that. But it looked like a tornado last night, possibly in the Leland area. Uh, otherwise, the very, very heavy rainfall associated with this big shield of moisture will continue. Numerous roads closed, impassable. Some of them are washed out. And so travel is not recommended for people that don't have a specific purpose, uh, either in the news gathering business, first responders, or the power restoration and disaster response business. If you want to just drive around and see what's happening, that is a bad idea. Uh, trust me when I tell you that. So this is all going to continue to move very slowly this way, all of this rain here, as the center of circulation is located southwest of Columbia, and that will continue to move west and then eventually up and out. And then maybe a piece of it breaks off and comes back down this way in about a week or so, if you can believe that. We'll deal with that later. Uh, some of the models indicating some of the energy might try to regenerate. We've seen that before, Ivan in 2004. So listen, I want to just go over the river flooding situation real quick. Uh, I'm going to mouse over some of these and point them out. If they are purple, they are already in flood, major flood stage. So let's just take a look going from south to north. Uh, here in the Wilmington area down at the Cape Fear River, after the record-setting storm surge there on Friday from Florence pushing the Cape Fear River northward, eclipsing the record set by Matthew, which eclipsed the record of Hazel. Uh, so we went from 54 to 16, 1954 to 2016 to break the record, and then the record was broken again two years later. That's remarkable. Um, going up here, Cape Fear River at lock number one, forecast to go to major flood stage uh, over the next few days. Uh, the northeast Cape Fear River near Burgaw, forecast to break the flood of record there by a couple of feet. That should happen early next week. Uh, people need to be evacuating and doing what they can to save property, but more importantly, save their lives now. 
going up Cape Fear River near Chincapin will very much surpass its flood of record by about five feet. Already in major flood stage, already broken the record. People around here hopefully are evacuating now, have evacuated, and unfortunately you're going to have tremendous damage uh, several feet higher than anything you have ever seen before. Um, going on up here towards Goldsboro, Noose River forecast to be in flood stage, major flood, but not breaking the flood of record, so there's a little bit of good news. Same for Kinston, although that little end there, the little tail end where it says 24.9 feet is still going up. We'll have to see if that spikes higher. 28.3 was the record, and we had cameras set up for that. That was Hurricane Matthews aftermath in 2016. Uh, where else can we check? Let's just move up here to the Tar, Tar River. Good shape. So the farther north you get, Rocky Mount, good shape here as well. But down back to the south and west, not so good. Uh, at least not you know, getting near the record here at Elizabethtown, but in South Carolina, as an example, Waccamaw River at Conway, forecast to eclipse the record by just a little bit, slowly rising down there. This is all subject to change, of course. Uh, up here in Lumberton, uh, I-95 closed because the uh, river up there forecast to the Lumber River uh, get over I-95. That's a big problem. We go up into the Fayetteville area, Cape Fear River at Fayetteville, record flooding. Uh, up here, Little River at Manchester. Now this one's got a lot of attention, rightfully so. The flood of record is 29 feet. It is forecast to crest 34.6 feet, and you just do the math. That's higher so much, several feet higher than the record, and it's moving up. You have today, and that's about it. So get your evacuations completed today. I am going to try to get there and alert the town officials that uh, we have the camera system and if they have power up there and, and the cell towers are working we can get a stream out and uh, we can set up one of our cameras to monitor this. we got to work hard. Uh, Brent, the gentleman helping me from the U.S. Virgin Islands, he and I have got our work cut out for us to get there. If we can, that's our target to set up a uh, live camera system, and then one of my GoPro uh, recording systems to see if we can record what's happening as well. So how do you get to this map so you can check this yourself? You go to weather.gov. See that right there in the browser window? Weather.gov. Click on rivers, lakes, rainfall. And then you get a master map here of the United States as a whole. And then simply scroll down, collect, uh, select the state that you want, and in this case, North Carolina. South Carolina, whatever the case may be for you. And there are all the gauges. And on a computer, PC, you know, where you have a mouse to mouse over the different gauges, they just pop right up. And interestingly enough, just so you know, if you click on the dot, the gauge, it brings you to a page uh, with more information. And it shows you where the gauge is located, the different historic crests, and then a uh, area uh, down here that tells you what to expect at different levels all right so that's how you do that all right so hang in there everyone uh i know that's easy for me to say uh let's get me back here this is you know dragging on and on and on it is very uh taxing on people's nerves uh just do the best you can okay support each other uh try not to get too impatient the sun will come out that that little girl orphan nanny is correct the sun's going to come out and uh, it may not be today, it may not be tomorrow as the song goes, but it's coming back and we will rebound from this changed, stronger. Uh, you know, there'll be sadness, of course, there'll be loss, but, you know, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger and more resilient, you know, hopefully. Um, and we will just move on, okay? That's the only, you can only go forward. If you just let it get you down, and I know for some people, it is going to get them down, and this could be close to a knockout punch. Different economic variables at play, different health issues, uh, different you know work issues, your house, where you live, etc. I get it. Believe me, I've done this for 22 years. As a physical geographer, my job is to study the impacts of tropical cyclones on us that live above the ground. 
uh, the humans that live, the animals that live, the people, places, and things. And Florence will be a part of that history, unfortunately. But I need you to stay strong, all right? Um, my family stuck up in Greensboro. They're going to be going to school <laughs> into next summer, probably. Oh, my goodness gracious. This really wrecks a lot of stuff, doesn't it? Yet they are so fascinating to monitor and track. It's just amazing. Um, we always learn something. So, look, I'm going to work on plans to get up to Manchester. And if I can't, we'll at least, uh, Brent and I, uh, the gentleman helping me out, try to document what we can. And if the rain will let up, the sun's finally coming up out there. Um, it's cloudy, but the sun is rising. Uh, we'll do the best we can to document and continue to post what I can. Follow on Twitter, uh, and I'll post what I can there. All right? I am Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, in my hot, dark office in Wilmington, North Carolina. The house is great. The family's doing okay. They're probably getting on each other's nerves a little bit. Up in Greensboro, my wife handling things like a champion. But uh, things are well, considering, and especially that I know what other people are going through. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll try to post another update late tonight.